Hi everyone, it's Star Rosi with the Trillion Real Estate Group on our final day of our Thursday Live at Lunch. I'm out front of 38 Hagerman Road and I am so excited to show you this amazing property. As you can see behind me, it's got an amazing curb appeal. Uh, this house is just nine years old, built in 2012. And so for Hewlett Park area, it's one of the fresher, newer houses uh, in the area. So can't wait to show it to you. You can see there's a nice good sized garage, 22 by 24 attached garage and uh, yeah they, uh, it's it's only minus a billion out here at the moment so let's get you inside and let you take a look at this stunning home sorry folks all right here we go so again nice curb appeal it is uh, got the park right here we're down nice and close to the lake so we're just a nice stroll to the lake as always, our homes are pre-inspected. So this home was just in pre-inspected yesterday, so don't even have the report in on it yet. But it is, uh, it's a great home. Don't expect a whole lot of surprises. As you can see, got a nice, good sized yard. Be a little tough to see from the other side, but here's, here's the one side. This house faces, uh, the backyard faces west. So you got a nice long sideways uh, view here. Enough room for RV parking or a boat when those weathers uh, allow us. I'm gonna pop in here and see the nice, good size entrance way. It's a nice open floor plan, very tall ceilings to be able to kind of soak in the entrance way. Nice, good size closet so you can belly up with all the jackets and stuff. And then what I really like is the bench area. So winter boots, especially this time of year, you need to be able to put your scarves and winter boots away. Nice little bench there, another little closet or uh, shelf to uh, hang up your jackets. And again, just love this area, nice and tall ceilings. And as I mentioned outside, this house uh, was just built in 2012, but the owners actually had it repainted. Even though it's only nine years old, they had it repainted uh, using Aura paint, so nothing but the best. This it shows really well, cleans up real easy. Great Aura paint, redid the whole house. So again, we've got our main floor, modified by level, nearly 1,400 square feet, five bedrooms, three baths. There's two nice sized bedrooms here on the main, and of course the open floor plan. So we'll take a look. So what I want to see is as we come in. You can see this nice open floor plan. I can feel that west sun hitting me right in the back. I love this living room area. Got a nice centerpiece fireplace. And you can just see yourself kind of chilling back here. Got the nice vault through it, so it really opens up the, the floor plan in here. My buddy Crush here, just chilling. He's the... He's the uh, He's the friendly yeah, one. He's he, been yeah, he's following the man, us around. The man, uh, in love with, so. He doesn't believe it's as cold out as everybody says. <laughs> he's like, All right, what's going on? So, uh, again, love this little area. It's just perfect for uh, entertaining. And, of course, with the west-facing sun, just absolutely love it. And then when you turn around, you get to see, again, nice open floor plan. Got lots of space for the dining area. Super attractive lighting in here. And then a nice modern island, got the raised countertop, lots of room, undermount sink, maple cabinetry, real thick uh, laminate flooring throughout the house. And again, nice stainless steel appliances, so it kind of accentuates the house. I quite like the design, got the glass uh, mosaic tile as well. Now, pantry in here, what the owner did actually is he replaced all the wire uh, work in here with wood, make it nice and sturdy and firm, can be able to put a whole lot more stuff in there. So, yep, way yeah. better. Yeah, so again, we've got the two bedrooms here. Well, one is uh, used as an office craft room at the moment. And we've got the Gonna say hi to Sandy Huss. She's oh, watching. Nice. Yeah. We've got the spare bathroom, and I've got it on good authority. 
This shower has only been used three times in nine years. <laughs> so it's good. It's never, barely been used. Enough to just make sure that it, uh, it, the quality is maintained. Nice flooring in here too. Yeah, really like the tile work. And then you've got the spare bedroom in here, good size room. Again, as you can tell, oh, yeah. not overly used. Just a two person family and, uh, and the three kitties. So uh, homeowners have taken amazing care of this property. So these bedrooms have barely seen anybody in them. Nice right? thick baseboards too, Dars. Yeah. Thick baseboard and trim throughout, yeah. which is yeah, really nice. nice. All that. I've lived in a number of houses and I gotta say that I, I actually kind of favor the modified by level most myself. Our master bedroom would have been up here just like this one is. So nice away from everybody, nice and peace and quiet. Good size room. Lots of room for, for everybody. And, and then when you come in, I'll let Pat kind of take a look there. You can see the four piece ensuite. Nice big bright window too. Yeah. No, no houses, no houses across the street. Yeah. Lots of extra parking. Yep, for sure. Yep. So again, you see the closet off to the left and the four piece ensuite here, which as Pat mentioned in our previous house, critical to have that ensuite. Yeah. Oh, and a window in here too. Yeah, that's nice. It's nice and bright. What I do like about you know the master bedroom being on this side is, uh, you know, you don't you're not so hot on that second level because you're, yep. you're away from the west side, so it's good that way. Boy, that's nice and open oh, coming yeah, out of here. This is a great view. Just be able to see everything. Yeah, nice hey, Larry, there. how are you, friend? Nice little niches up there as well. Stay warm, bud. So again, as you walk down, you'll be able to get a good glimpse. Again, this nice size entranceway. Uh, I don't think an entranceway can be big enough, uh, especially for families where you're toting in grocery bags and hockey bags and you name it. There's just never enough room for everybody. But Just got a, quite a few people online here, Dars. Um, if there are any questions, just fire away and we'll answer them for you. Now, what can translate in this uh, video is the nice warm in-floor heat. Uh, in the basement here. So uh, again, nice and cozy, minus 40 outside and nice and cozy inside. So uh, recently developed uh, basement. So you've got this nice spacious area for watching TV, working out, you know, nice little kids games area. And then you've got a little bedroom off to the side here. So again, one of two bedrooms in the basement. We've got a question here, Darcy. When was the home built? 2012. 2012, yep, okay. nine years old, so. And just for the latecomers, where are we? We're at 38 Hagerman Road. This property is actually coming soon. It's not even listed yet. You're, you're the, everybody's the first to see this amazing property. Uh, it should be out today, and we'll have that posted up on our link. Nice big window. Yeah, we'll see if we can, just because it's so cold outside, we'll maybe see if we can kind of take a look at that backyard a bit. It's actually measures from uh, side to side 68 feet so nearly uh, 70 feet <laughs> in that backyard yeah yeah crush hey eh? you're such a good cat crush as you can tell we are in a pet pet friendly home this is uh, the, the owners are absolutely in love with their kitties as i am and uh you know they take good care of them we're gonna we're gonna see some of the work that they've done the unique thing about this closet i'll actually show you in the other one but the owner did a nice little kind of uh, uh, design with the closets for the two bedrooms. So, so when we come in here, we'll kind of quickly show you the laundry area, just to kind of get that out of the way and see where the laundry and utility room is. This is where the hub of everything is. Oh, nice shelves. Yeah, some shelving in there. Oh, Drywall nice, mostly in. Nice spongy flooring. Yeah. yeah so. High efficiency water tank, high efficiency furnace. And of course, you got the, the sink here as well. So just that added touch for those rig clothes or just yep. the dirty stuff. Uh, get them nice and clean before you throw them in the in floor heat's washing. all hooked up. And again, you see that nice tile in here as well. I love the sink, what they did here with the, the sink and cabinet. And good size bedroom in here, uh, made even bigger. The, the, the plan called for um, for the closet to be kind of on this side right here. So it kind of would eat into the bedroom. 
Uh, but what the owner did is actually made it a two-way closet. So if you got young kids that like to play with uh, around with each other, everybody's kind of everybody's yeah, got, got you. their own little space there. But the shelving is all here to lay up, so that you got nice uh, you got shelving for each side. So kind of unique that way. Nice uh, nice thought. So. Again, as, as we as we mentioned, for those of you out there that uh, that have their kitties, this is a great little setup. Got the little walking path there, right up to the uh, kitty litter, so makes it easy for mom and dad to uh, to empty the kitty boxes, and the cats have their own little space. So and there is absolutely no odor in there. Oh yeah, room. no zero. I can zero guarantee odor. you. I've been in Pat. How many houses do you think we've been in? Tens and tens of thousands. Yeah. Uh, I can honestly tell you for. Having three cats, this home doesn't even, can't yeah. even tell that there's cats here. Yeah. Other than the fact that Crush follows us around and it's just <laughs> cute as can be. So, we'll finish off upstairs. I'd like to try and get as much look at the backyard as we can. Um, except we're, we're kind of frozen in here a bit at the moment. So, we'll take a peek at much as we can. You can see the good sized deck there. Yeah, that one's a bit tough there, but we'll just pull that. Yeah, we gotta get a look at the deck. Oh, yeah. And that, so off to the right there, you can see the size of the yard at the back. Oh my, that's yeah. really, yeah, yeah, big yard. So again, 68 feet at the back and 118 feet down the side. So lots of room for RV parking back there with the lane. So whether you've got a boat, RV, there's space for it here as well. Again, good size garage. So kind of recap, we're at 38 Hageman Road. This house will be listed later today, so watch for it. Uh, Tori will get it in the links there for us this afternoon, so you'll be able to see everything about this house. Five bedrooms, three baths, nearly 1,400 square feet, modified by level, built in 2012. And again, super stylish design. Absolutely love it. This home is extremely well cared for and can't wait to show it to people. Uh, so feel free to comment, like, share this. As we've mentioned before, sharing and liking our uh, videos allows us to spread the word out there to all our sellers of amazing homes and, and help them to sell it. So again, we appreciate you kind of hanging in there with us. Uh, one last thing, I know we're all going through a tough time this last year, it's been real, real tough. With this cold weather, it's even worse, so just a little reminder, be kind to everybody. A little kindness goes a long way in our world today, so really appreciate you guys kind of hanging in here with us today. And on behalf of the kitties, thanks for coming in today, and uh, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.